the Doctor Who 60th anniversary is just a few months away now, but I still have one big unanswered question. Will any other Doctors aside from David Tennant be returning? Well today, I have brand new evidence that could prove that the 12th Doctor, Peter Capaldi, is returning. Let me explain. In a previous video, I launched an investigation into whether Peter Capaldi might return for the 60th anniversary. And to do this I treated it like a criminal investigation and looked at his motive, means and opportunity and examined all the evidence, which at the time was admittedly quite slim. However the critical piece of evidence in favour of him returning was a photo taken with him and Rachel Talale, the director of one of the episodes of the 60th. This photo was posted on the 9th of April 2022, just one month before filming began. Around the same time Rachel Talale also posted a photo of herself with fellow 12th Doctor era cast member Matt Lucas. However, once she was publicly announced as a 60th director, she tried to justify these pictures by claiming tea or coffee with a friend is just tea with a friend. So even though the picture was very suspicious, it could just have been a one-off social meeting between friends. And thus, I didn't feel like I had enough evidence to convict Peter Capaldi of the crime of appearing in the 60th. However, I'm pleased to tell you I've found new evidence which has come to light which could prove that this meeting was not just a one-off encounter and it places Peter Capaldi even closer to the scene of the crime than ever before. Let's delve into it. On the 14th of April 2022, a Twitter user called Rob Hayton posted a thread celebrating Peter Capaldi's birthday that day. In the post he compares Peter Capaldi to a selection of easter eggs. Then on the 15th of April, one day later, Rachel Talali replies to the thread. She claims she had showed the thread to Peter Capaldi who thought it was very funny and was appreciative. Now note here the use of the word showed, not sent. The use of the word show is important as it implies they were in the same room together rather than her sending him the thread online. Now what this proves is that Rachel Talale and Peter Capaldi were in contact and possibly even together in person on the 15th of April 2022, just 18 days before filming would begin on the 60th. And it's also just six days after they met for the photograph on the 9th of April 2022. This would indicate the photo was not just a one-off social encounter and they are actually meeting multiple times over the course of a week. That is just 18 days before the filming of the anniversary specials begins. During a time that Rachel Salale would have been deep in the process of pre-production and probably needing to attend things like read-throughs and costume fittings with the principal cast, making the fact that they seem to be in contact and potentially meeting up during this time very, very suspicious I would say. What makes the interaction with the easter egg even more suspicious is that Talele has since deleted the tweet. What reason would she have to delete such an innocuous tweet unless it was suspicious? Or perhaps even breaking a non-disclosure agreement? And take this with a grain of salt, but the Twitter user who posted the thread even claimed Talele happened to be working with Capaldi on something else at the time. Now I don't have any other evidence to support this claim, but it was interesting nonetheless. When you check both of their schedules, there's really no project they could be both working on in April 2022, other than Doctor Who. Now an argument against all this is that you might say, why would she just publicly let this slip? Well at the time, it wasn't publicly known she was directing an episode of the 60th, and she hasn't directed an episode of Doctor Who since 2017. So at the time, it really wouldn't look that suspicious that she's meeting up with Capaldi. It's only retroactively that this photo looks suspicious. Another argument against Peter Capaldi's return might be that Capaldi has publicly stated he wouldn't like to be involved. But I've sort of done my time on it and I like the idea that you leave there. But here's the know, thing, as, as if Peter Capaldi had turned down the anniversaries or if the production team just didn't ask him to return, yeah. wouldn't it be a bit awkward for him then to be meeting up with the director of one of the episodes and speaking to her multiple times in the month before filming begins? Also here's just a quick bonus theory. Whilst I've been editing the video they've been releasing these glitched trailers for the Eurovision and a lot of these trailers have featured lots of little hidden messages and things in them and one of the messages is a little phrase called brooding Elijah having a load of Roman numerals. Now the Roman numerals work out to be 1926 and someone on Twitter has found an anagram of brooding Elijah is John Logie Baird and in 1926 John Logie Baird invented the first television. And I bring this up and this is proper like clowning kind of time right because when you look at pictures of John Logie Baird he does bear a certain resemblance to a former doctor and he was Scottish. <laughs> is it possible that Peter Capaldi is yet again playing a different role in the Doctor universe 
Maybe he's not back as the Doctor, but he is back as a side character. And therefore he wouldn't be lying when he says he wouldn't fancy a Morty Doctor special. Just throwing it out there. You watch when it gets to the anniversary special and John Logie Baird isn't in it or he's played by someone else. <laughs> but that's just a little theory there. In summary, could it just be a coincidence that Peter Capaldi potentially met the director of one of the specials twice just days before filming began, a director he had a close working relationship with, a director who would have been in the process of pre-production at the time and probably needing to do things like read-throughs and costume fittings with the main cast. I mean, yes, it still could be a coincidence, but put it this way, seeing as I've been treating this like a criminal investigation, I'll say that for me, the threshold of evidence to convict Capaldi has now been passed, and there are reasonable grounds to charge Peter Capaldi with the crime of appearing in the 60th anniversary specials. But now it goes to the court of public opinion, and whether or not he's guilty is for you to decide. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.